Good morning everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Jakub Vanish and today we're going to be talking about Apple and its issues with regulations in the EU market. So let's get right into the things right away. So unfortunately earlier this week uh, Apple said that the European customers will not get access to the Apple intelligence, iPhone mirroring and share play screen sharing features that are coming to the iPhone, to iPad and the Mac this September due to regulatory issues related to the the so-called Digital Markets Act. These are features that were really beloved, you know, something that all of the people were looking forward to, all of the fans, you know, after the latest WWDC in June, everybody wanted these features. These are the hot, you know, things, especially the Apple intelligence. The This is the first Apple stake at AI, really. And we're not getting it. In a, in a statement to Financial Times, Apple said that there will be a delay as it works to figure out how to make the new functionality compatible with European com uh, competition rules. Uh, their quote says this. Due to, due to the regulatory uncertainties brought about by the Digital Markets Act, we do not believe that we'll be able to roll out three of these new features like iPhone mirroring, SharePlay screen sharing, enhancements and Apple intelligence to our EU customers this year. They didn't even basically apologize. That's the end quote. Um, it's, it's just a basic you know, statement, right? Apple intelligence includes a wide range of additions that overhaul everything from Siri to apps, while iPhone mirroring is a feature that allows the iPhone to be controlled on a connected Mac. SharePlay screen sharing lets users take control of another person's screen while using the SharePlay feature with the aim of providing assistance. Some of the Siri-related Apple intelligence capabilities will not be launching until 2025, but Genmoji, Image Playground, Writing Tools, and many new in-app capabilities are set to be available starting in September, and these are what iPhone, iPad, and Mac users in the European Union will miss out on. It is not clear how long will it take uh, to Apple to expand um, these features to the EU market, nor what changes Apple might have to make to introduce them under the DMA. Apple's warning comes to the European Commission prepares to make a ruling on whether prior changes to allow for app marketplaces meet the terms of the DMA. Regulators have said that there are very serious issues with Apple's implementation, likely related to the core technology fee that Apple is charging. So this is getting quite political and it's very unfortunate because some of these things like, you know, iPhone mirroring, you know, Samsung already has this. You can clearly mirror your phone on uh, any computer Computer, Windows computer or any you know TV etc suddenly you know this is an issue unfortunately for for uh, a phone you know the same goes for other features Apple intelligence right like currently uh, you can get chat GPT you can even get let's say some Chinese types of AI from easily from uh, from this uh, from Huawei and from from other other people so it's very unfortunate because this is this is uh, basically touching everybody in the European Union. Everybody will be impacted in the European Union, and that's the fact. So we'll have to you know see how, how it goes. But it's very likely that we'll not see any of these new features in European Union this year in 2024. If they are coming, they will likely come in 2025. So yeah, suddenly, you know, for some of the people in uh, Britain, in uh, Great Britain, it looks like Brexit was not such a bad idea. But it's it's really a pity, right? Because um, I am part of European Union or I'm living in the European Union in Czech Republic. And this these are the features that I was really looking forward to. And now I can't. I can't use them at all. I can't test them. Um, yeah, and it's, you know, it just reminds me of this meme that I wanted to share here, right? That uh, the US innovates, uh, China, you know, copies and um, and European Union unfortunately regulates. Of course, there are some good aspects of regulations that are protecting the end customers and end users. But in this case, you know, Apple is really the only company maybe taking that that uh, privacy issue and privacy, you know, topic and um, safety features and security features really, really, really seriously. And yeah, they're not allowed to have it. So unfortunately, the customers will suffer. 
and that's that's epity so we'll have to see i uh, will keep you posted there regarding you know any evolutions in this new case any new updates but so far it doesn't look uh, so great to be honest because these were the main selling point for new iphones and new macbooks and you know these new features were supposed to come in september and suddenly yeah suddenly you cannot have your go at uh, at them so that that sucks i don't know if you would use a vpn if it helps but that uh, has to be tested so this has been Jakub Vanish thanks a lot for tuning in if you like this type of content leave a like hit the subscribe button otherwise i wish you an amazing day and have a good one take care bye bye cheers